What up? Big Kirk 916. Positivity, motivation. Keeping you guys laced up. So Eric Holder, the man accused of murdering Nipsey Hussle, recently got beat up in jail. Yeah, his trial's going on right now. And prior to trial, they had him in segregation, meaning he wasn't in general population. So nobody could really get to him. And, you know, they said he's accused of murdering Nipsey, but it's crazy. I mean, there's so many camera angles they showed from the video footage that this guy shot the man multiple times. Horrible, horrible situation. But, um, yeah, he, he, um, he's accused of murdering Nipsey and um, it's standing trial. It's been years in the making as far as the trial. And um, some guys got at him, which it was inevitable. Somebody, there's a lot of people that love Nipsey, man. Nipsey had a lot of love on the streets. He showed a lot of guys who were from that life, man, that you could be some, so much bigger. And he was creating wealth, building businesses. I never met the man. But just based on what I've seen in his interviews and how he grew as a person, he was on a path of enlightenment and he was doing things. He changed, man. He, he was doing some things that were opening a lot of doors for a lot of other people, showing them the way. And people change. You know, you do things, you may be involved in maybe gang activity or certain things, and, and then you see that there's other things you can do and you help other people and you lead them and you become a leader and a person of change. And that's what... I saw Nipsey Hussle doing. Like I said, I never met him, but what he was doing to me appeared to be very positive with black businesses and creating wealth and just helping, helping people in general. Um, Eric Holder, 32, was attacked by two inmates after he was transported back to the facility after he left court around 4 p.m. on Monday, his public defender, Aaron Jensen, told Rolling Stone. Jensen said Holder, who required medical treatment for his injuries, was cut to the back of the head with a razor. His face is swollen and his eye is swollen, Jensen told the magazine. Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge H. Clay Jack told jurors Tuesday the day's session was canceled due to unforeseen circumstances and asked them to return Wednesday unless they hear otherwise. Defense attorney Aaron Jansen told the magazine outside of the courtroom that the delay was medical related, but not due to COVID. It's not clear exactly where the accused killer was attacked. Holder has been ordered to be kept separately from other inmates when he's being transported. Rolling Stone reported. Holder's murder trial began early this month, over three years after allegedly gunned down Hustle, whose real name is Imrius Joseph Axtum outside of his Los Angeles clothing shop, the Marathon, in May 2019. <clears throat> he allegedly walked up to Hustle 33 while he was speaking to a group of men and opened fire with an automatic handgun, hitting him 11 times and injuring two other people. Video shows Holder kicking Hustle's head while he was on the ground bleeding. Jansen admitted in his opening remarks that his client did shoot Hustle 33 but denied that it was premeditated. This is a case of heat of passion, Jansen told jurors. Hustle, he said, made an accusation against Holder that he was a snitch. Both men grew up in the same neighborhood and were affiliated with the same street gang, the Rolling Sixties neighborhood Crips in South Los Angeles. Ten minutes before the shooting, Hustle and Holder had a short conversation in which the rapper warned him of a rumor circling that he had been cooperating with law enforcement and giving up names. Hustle's close friend, Herman Douglas, testified. Holder didn't seem upset when Hustle told him about the concerns, he said. Holder's former gal pal, Brit Brian, Brian, Brianita Nicholson, testified last week that she had given Holder to a restaurant in the same complex, that she had driven Holder to a restaurant in the same shopping complex as Hustle's store. Nicholson said she heard Holder say to Hustle in a loud voice, did you say I snitch? before walking away from the rapper and, and the two other men. After Hustle and Holder talked, Holder got back in the car and asked Nicholson to drive around the block twice. After passing the store a second time, he began loading his gun inside the car, she said. He told her to park in the alleyway, took 
two bites of a chili cheese fries and walked in the store. Moments later, Nicholson said she heard gunshots and debated fleeing, but was worried that Holder was hurt. He got back in the car and yelled at her to drive away from the alley and saw him put two guns in a bag. Nicholson, who was intimate with Holder, but had only known him for a month, said she didn't realize Holder might have been involved with the shooting until after he spent the night and saw news reports of Hustle's death. Holder faces the possibility of life in prison if convicted. When court resumes, Holder's defense is expected to call two witnesses to the stand and take less than a day before closing arguments, Rolling Stone reported. But there you have it, man. Uh, man. So many young black men um, who have used music as an art form and tool, but in the process met tragic endings in the rap game. It's just too many to name, man. And um, it's sad. And now as an older black man looking back and the things I thought were cool or entertaining, it's like, man, you know, I try to figure out how I could reach some of these other young men and maybe give them a different perspective because I was lost, man. I had no clue. 18, 19, 20, 21. I mean, you're just, you know, you don't see the big picture. And to live beyond your 20s, 30s, 40s is a blessing, man. It's a blessing. And that there was times where, you know, I didn't think that I would live beyond a certain point because of all the shit I was doing. Just being a knucklehead, man. Just not caring and thinking, you know, I was Superman, but um, you, you, you come to a point and you realize that there is other things in life that have a greater purpose and makes you look at life differently. And hopefully a lot of young men can start seeing that and, you know, in spite of just getting the bag and promoting, you know, black death, you know, black hate, you know, black on black kill this guy I mean hopefully we can change that narrative to something that creates more black unity and peace in our communities prosperity and elevation of self because we're definitely in need of more of that community um, unity and growth because we have so much to contribute and if you can make so much money doing the bad stuff Imagine how much money you can make doing the good stuff. Food for thought, man. Big Herc 916. This video is brought to you by Amato Enterprise, the best in TV mounting in the Phoenix, Arizona area. They build TV walls, over the fireplace, ceiling mounts, all for as low as $100. Rated number one in the Phoenix, Arizona area on Thumbtack.com. For your TV mounting needs in Arizona, contact Amato Enterprise. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.